Robots are now able to learn a model of their entire body from scratch, without any human assistance. Researchers from Columbia University developed a visual self-model using deep neural networks that allowed a robot to learn the relationship between its motor actions and the volume it occupied in its environment. The researchers placed a robotic arm inside a circle of five streaming video cameras. The video footage was fed to the network as the robot wiggled and contorted. This allowed it to learn exactly how its body moved in response to various motor commands. After about three hours, the robot learned the relationship between its motor actions and the volume it occupied in its environment, much like an infant exploring itself for the first time in a hall of mirrors. This awareness allows the robot to plan motion, reach goals, and avoid obstacles in a variety of situations. Another small but incredible step towards robot self-awareness. Researchers at University of New South Wales are also working on an impressive project. They developed a new class of smart textiles that can shapeshift and turn two-dimensional material into 3D structures. The material is constructed from tiny, soft, artificial muscles. These muscles are long silicone tubes that can change shape thanks to hydraulics. The artificial muscles can be programmed to contract or expand into a variety of shapes depending on their initial structure. The smart textile can either be attached to existing passive material or yarn to create an active fabric. What's next is not fabric, but something from a sci-fi movie. Rice University researchers found a way to use dead spiders as robotic grippers. What started with a dead spider in a lab became a gripper, necrobotics. If you haven't noticed yet, spiders' legs curl up when they die. This is because spiders extend their legs with hydraulic pressure, and when spiders die, they lose this ability. Researchers tapped into the hydraulic infrastructure of dead spiders using a needle, and by pumping air, they extend the spider's legs. Releasing the pressure retracted the legs, allowing them to grab objects. We wrap up this monthly video by congratulating Ross Industrial for its 10-year anniversary. To celebrate this achievement, they put together this video with shared snippets of the great work the community has been doing. Ross Industrial seeks to extend Ross, and now Ross too, to industrial hardware and applications. Ross Industrial identifies and prioritizes capabilities for industrial robotics and automation to address current and future application problems. They also provide a wide range of user services, including technical support and training, to facilitate the continued adoption of Ross by industry. They help us all carry the flag of open source in the industrial and automation domain. For that, we are truly thankful, and we're proud to be a part of this community.